Live from Chicago's NBC5, this is NBC5 News at 10. And later, diagnosed with cancer but wanting a child, a medical breakthrough with the help from her sister in a special Health Watch report. Then a cancer patient's desperate move to have her child, a medical breakthrough in Health Watch. Tonight in Health Watch, the story of a woman whose battle with cancer won't stop her quest to be a mother. But she can't do it alone. Here's Health Watch reporter Nasita Kwan. Nasita? Warner, many women know what it's like to try for years to get pregnant and then face the frustration of never having it happen. Beth Turner struggled with that and with two life-threatening diagnoses of cancer. But then her sister stepped in with an offer that Beth says gave her hope. Daddy, get out of the way. Surrounded by nephews and nieces, Beth Turner wanted her own baby. But then she was diagnosed with cancer in her left breast. I've, I've always wanted kids, and it just never worked. Chemotherapy and radiation thinned Beth's hair, but she survived. And amazingly, doctors told her she was still fertile. So this spring, she tried to get pregnant again. And then, doctors told her she now had cancer in her right breast. To save her life, Beth needs chemotherapy and radiation as soon as possible. But that would most likely destroy her ability to conceive or carry a baby. My husband and I talked and I'm like, well, you know, I want to have a baby. You know, I was like, I don't want to go on chemo. I was willing to risk my life because I want a part of me to live on. Desperate, Beth turned to fertility specialist Dr. Randy Morris. And almost immediately, he scheduled a procedure to retrieve her eggs. There was no time for pre-testing. Beth's oncologist had given Dr. Morris just two weeks before her cancer treatment had to begin. This is a very sort of tense moment for us. Will we be able to get anything? Or has the chemotherapy, you know, destroyed her ovary so much that this whole process was for naught? Now we have to the fluid. One by one, the eggs were counted. There were only four, fewer than normal, but still worth fertilizing. Six hours later, each egg was matched with one of her husband's sperm and then frozen till they could be inserted in the womb. But whose womb? I was shocked. I just did not think, you know, she'd want to do something like that. I never even asked her. At this point, Beth's younger sister stepped in to do what Beth couldn't do herself. Jill Arellano has four kids of her own, and she hopes the fifth will be her sister's. I'd like to have something live on with, you know, with Beth. Hopefully, of course, that she'll live a long life, but, you know, we, I just want to, you know, part of her around for a long time also. So while Beth is treated for breast cancer, her sister Jill says she hopes she'll be going to the doctor as well to get pregnancy checkups on Beth's baby. We, of course, will stay in touch with the sisters and hope to have a great ending to add to the story. Allison? Thanks so much, Nasita.